What is up guys? It's your boy Off The Rapper Gavin. We're back at it with another video. Um, today, it's just a quick little video. I'm honestly out of video ideas for the moment and I want to stay consistent with uploading videos. So we're just doing a quick water change on all the turtles and I think I may even show you all how the uh, ball python bioactive is doing. So uh, enough with that. Let's go ahead. Let's get right on into this video. Look at this guy. He's chilling. This turtle is so, so awesome. So friendly. I'll let you just pet him. He's super, super, super chill. We help him get this scoot off. There we go. Yeah, so we gotta do water change on this pond, on this pond. Um, we don't have to do one in this pond, but we're gonna do it in that pond. We're also gonna do water change on the fish pond and that empty pond as well. So just full water changes today. All right, so we pulled the plug on this pond, got it draining. Uh, we got the three hoses pumping out water in this pond currently. Um, so we're just waiting for these to empty. And then we're going to go ahead and empty this pond. And we're actually going to take this pond off of the, the bricks, put it down on the floor, and uh, just get a better look out at the uh, pond underneath. I know a few goldfish have died. I've taken them out, but uh, there's probably a couple in there that are hidden. So I want to make sure I get all the dead bodies, uh, make sure the convicts are doing good and the goldfish that are alive are doing good. Um, and then it'll also be easier to clean that bottom pond out when we don't have this on top of it. Um, and then once we clean this row down, then we'll do these two. Okay, so I'm gonna move this uh, lay bin actually further back. I'm just gonna push it back to the pond so it's almost flush to the back of the pond because I have not seen any of the turtles using it. So it makes me think that they're, they're having trouble with actually you know climbing out on the pond and getting up. So I'm gonna push this back and then that way it's push back and give them room to make a ramp so they can get up on that ramp pretty easy and access the land area area with no problems at all. Okay, so we got this pond drained, got the lay bin moved, so you can kind of see what I mean now. There's plenty of area for a ramp. I even moved that lay bin there so then both lay bins are on the same side and symmetrical. Looks better. Uh, you can see we've got this gorgeous pink lily just hanging out. And then you look underneath the hide, you got one of the pink bellies there, and then the map turtles, and the other pink bellies. See, they look good. Walt pond is dumped. Still working on draining this pond. This pond is absolutely disgusting, as you can see, but the turtles honestly love it, so it's not that big of a deal, but I just don't personally love it myself. <laughs> All right, so we get this pond drained. We're draining out this pond. We put the rocks that were in this pond just on the lay bin for now. We're gonna empty out this pond. And then once it gets empty out, we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna set it right here on the floor. And then we're gonna do some maintenance on that bottom pond. And then we'll get to filling everything up and then doing these ponds. All right, so since we got the babies being drained, let's just show some of them off. I want this guy to stick his head out on camera because he is gorgeous. He's slowly starting to. He has got some beautiful stripes. I absolutely love these Chinese golden birds. Come on, buddy, stick your head out. There you go. Oh, damn it. Well, maybe if I put him down there, he will stick his head out. You got that Indian spotted. Oh, there he goes. Absolutely gorgeous turtle. Honestly, all of these babies are super, super beautiful. I love absolutely every one of them. All right, there we go. Here we go. His, out, his head is fully out. There you go. You can see how pretty the turtle that is. He is super, super, super cool. I love this little turtle. There you go. Hi buddy, how are you doing? So, we got the baby turtles moved. We can now finally look at this pond. How's it looking? I see one dead goldfish. I see just the one dead goldfish. I... Oh, wait, that might be two. That's two. That's definitely two dead goldfish right there. Ew, he's been dead for a while. Honestly, as nasty as it is, I just feed the dead fish to the turtles. One goldfish isn't gonna hurt them. You know, they'll be fine. 
I don't see the convict sickles, which kind of has me worried because those were who I had breeding in here, or wanted to have breeding, I should say. But they're also dark fish, so I'm not really surprised I don't see them. Anyway, so we're just gonna hope they're doing well. It looks good in here. We're just gonna do a quick little water change. So we got the fish pond drained. I don't see the convicts, um, but there are a bunch of goldfish still left, so that's a good thing. <coughs> so now we're just gonna go over here. We're gonna drain these ponds. And then we're going to start refilling them back up. So we got all of the ponds drained. Set that back up. We did also add more sand in here for the soft shells. Um, now we're gonna go get the hose and start filling it up. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully all the ponds look good. There's still a good amount of dirty water in there, but I'm not too worried about it to be completely honest with y'all. But um, I'm excited to see these all filled up and uh, ready to go. All right, let's start filling it up. I'm going to just spray down the sides of these ponds real quick. Just like that. Look at that rainbow. Spray down all the ponds. And we will start with filling up this one first. So we'll just put that right there. Let it fill up. And uh, we'll set up a time lapse while I fill it. So this pond is already full, it's starting to overfill. And I did not have time to set up the tripod for a time lapse because I can't really find it right now and don't feel like searching that hard for it. So we're gonna fill up this pond. Once this pond gets filled up, we'll fill up this one, and then we'll fill up that one, and we'll fill up that one. And once they're all filled up with water, I'll get back to you guys, show them all filled up, and then uh, we can talk about some other stuff in this video. I'm filling this up, I do wanna just say one thing. It is dirty, and I'm filling it up, and it's not gonna be crystal clear water. The turtles are fine with that, but I do about one to two times a month, I do completely dump the ponds out, scrub them out, I and mean, you've seen me do it in past videos. So I don't just refill like I'm doing now. I do actually get in and scrub and clean them down. It's just not that time. Um, just not the right time for it, and, and also, I just don't feel like doing that right now. It's a lot of work. Yeah, just want to ad address that if y'all are wondering, like, why am I filling the pond back up since it's still just a bunch of dirty water, but that is why. I wanted y'all to know, so now you know. All right, so I'm filling up this pink belly pond, and I look over, and uh, something that doesn't happen too often while I'm out here at least, the uh, male eastern painted turtle has come out of the water to say hello. He is normally super, super shy. Same with the black pearl, her, and the other red ear slider. Look at him being on bold, looking good. Hi, buddy. How are you? Hi. Gorgeous turtle right there. All right, so we're back. We've got all of the ponds nice and filled up. Um, I will say this pond's a little dirty because we did add new sand and I was lazy and I did not rinse it out. Um, but that'll clear up in uh, just a couple days. We got the pink belly pond working. As you can see, we got a floating, floating dock that they can get off the land. We got the big breeder pond. So up on land, we got Kobe, the male red ear slider right there. Right there, we have a Florida red belly cooter male. Then right there, we have our male peninsula cooter. Right there in the middle, we have our male Florida river cooter. And next to him is our female Florida river cooter. 
We got another male peninsula feeder right there. And another female yellow belly right there. Over here, this is what filled up like I was just telling y'all. The Eastern peanut turtle is on land, which is super, super rare. He doesn't, well, it's not rare that he comes out. It's rare that he's on land while I'm on land. He's just super skittish. And then we are just filling up the goldfish pond as we speak. And that'll be, that'll be it. Pretty much all done. Oh, let's see if he goes and checks out the new sandy area. Alrighty, so just like that, we're done with the outdoor turtle maintenance. Um, heading inside, I uh, figured I can show you guys a little update on the bioactive, how it's doing, how the ball python's liking it. So as you can see, um, he, like normal ball pythons, has absolutely crushed this plant, but uh, that's okay. We still love them. We'll uh, hopefully figure out a way to uh, make it grow and do fine. But he's absolutely loving it. Um, what I did do, like I mentioned at the end of the build, was this area is now fully, damn, he shit back there. We're gonna get back there with tongs and take it out, but fully accessible. So he can hide all back here. He can enter through uh, the backside or he can enter here. Um, he has been hanging out in here, but I think because he's shit, he's hanging out right here and doesn't want to hang out on his shit. So I will have to remove that shit. But other than that, Man, this bioactive is looking great. He loves it. Every night he's constantly climbing around on the ledge and right over here on top of the pot. He is absolutely loving it. I am thinking about adding a, a, a branch that goes from there to there. I think would be really sweet. Uh, but other than that, man, it is, bioactive is looking phenomenal. Very proud of how it turned out to do this build, start to finish, upload the video and film and everything within four hours. I, I mean, that looks good. That looks really Another good. little update on uh, the bearded dragon pairing, the Het Zero and Zero. Um, they're looking really good. We actually are about to pull them and separate them for a few days because I think, or we think that uh, Dakota may have some eggs inside of her, or at least is you know starting to build up the eggs. So we're gonna separate her and let her do her thing, and then we may um, put another one of our Het Zeros with Mew. Excuse me, MU is our visual zero. So we may do another visual zero, head zero pairing, um, or we may do some high red pairings. Not really too sure. We have about 12, 15, or sorry, 10, 10 to 13 different pairings that we can do and that we want to do, but we are trying to just do it one to two at a time because we don't want to get overran with like oh, thousands of babies, not thousands, but hundreds of babies all at one time to take care of, feed, and sell. So it's gonna be easier to sell them, raise them and all that, just doing one or two clutches at a time. Um, we're super, super stoked for it, so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get some eggs from these beardies soon and uh, can take all through the incubation process. But yeah, with that said, I think we're gonna go ahead and conclude the video here. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Just a little quick maintenance video on the turtles. Um, something y'all are definitely used to. Um, I'm just, you know, I, I couldn't really, I don't really have any video ideas today um so i just wanted to put something out because i want to stay consistent with my uploads so we're just doing turtle maintenance wanted to do an update on the uh, bioactive ball python build so if y'all enjoyed the video go ahead like the video tell me what your favorite part of the video was down in the comments below um if you want feel free to subscribe with that peace out